brand new team of the season, Adrissa Gay, has just been released, added to weekly objectives, and in this video, we're going to be talking about is he worth it, are there other options, such as Bakayoko you might have from the other weekly objective, or the brand new team of the season, Awa, Renato Sanchez, so many other options, is he going to be worth it, and also, if you decide to do him, how to complete the objectives as soon as possible. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe, we are going to be doing daily team of the season videos also all of the weekly objectives in the future released to guides just like this one so definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos so getting straight into this one now is he worth it well if he's going to be fitting in your team then you should definitely get him no matter what even if there is other options like what we mentioned the team of the season hour everything like that see if you get them in your red player picks but this is a must in my opinion for the PSG links if you do have Mbappe Neymar any of them you can literally just do a three strong link with these three so I definitely recommend it whether he's better than Bakayoko or not and also our all of the other ones we are going to see a little bit later on when we can test this guy out but the stats look absolutely amazing we do have 99 stamina 99 jumping 99 aggression which are the key parts for his role and it's really good the strength maybe could be a little bit improved but that is all good that is going to be done with the chemistry style the passing is also extremely good short passing 98 long passing 95 so it's just absolutely amazing when you do compare him to Bakayoko he does have that more pace more acceleration which could be useful but then keep in mind he is smaller in game so maybe he's going to be more of like a Kante CDM we are going to see but definitely a very very nice card and I do recommend all of you completing him like I mentioned if you do need those PSG links Neymar Mbappe any of those really he is going to be absolutely amazing and personally I do have Bakayoko and I'm still going to be doing him then I can decide later on definitely a card you don't want to miss out on so taking a look now at the objectives first one is going to be Senegal Sentinel score a goal in two separate rival matches using Senegalese players so this is going to be quite straightforward not really going to take too long at all we are going to try and make these do these together though the second one is going to be past Premier League protector assist with a through ball using Premier League players with max three star skill moves in three separate rival matches and the next one we're going to try and do these together past Premier League protector and also midfield maker which is assist 10 goals in rivals using midfielders with max three star weak foot which you can do with the second one using a Premier League player with max three star skill moves and max three star weak foot so the perfect player for this is Kriate and this is the one we are going to be doing it with he's also Senegalese so that is going to work for the first one and then the last one is League One leader, score an assist in six rival wins using League One midfielders. So the way you are going to do this is going to be doing the first three with a specific player. So to do this, in my opinion, the best way is to sub on Kuyate, score a goal with him, and that is going to be ticking off the first objective. And when you assist with a through ball, that is going to be ticking off the second and third objective. So when you're going to a rivals game, that's what you're going to want to do straight away. And then for the last objective, this one's quite difficult. You need to score and assist. The problem is why you can't do it with Kuyate is because it needs to be using League One midfielders. So for this one, all you need to do is just use anyone like Neymar, Moses Simons, Mbappe, anyone you already have in your club, League One player. And for it to count as a midfielder, you just need to convert the card down with consumables. So for example, if it's Neymar, make him a left mid, or if it's Mbappe, make him a cam or centre mid, etc. And this is going to be the easiest easiest way to do it in my opinion because you could try and sub on Gayu and also Kiate but it doesn't really help too much because Gayu is going to allow you to score with the Senegalese player but that's not really too difficult to complete but you need to score and assist with Gayu which is very difficult I'd rather do it with a league one player just convert it down to qualify as a midfielder and also the midfield maker is quite lengthy 10 assists it might be easy if you have the PlayStation app or something like that to try and message the opponent because those 10 are quite a lot and it's going to take you quite a few rival games in just a general match so maybe try and message him but the other ones aren't really going to be too difficult let me know down in the comments below if you are going to be doing this and for sure if you do have Mbappe or Neymar that PSG link 100% go ahead and do this like I said I've got Bakayoko once I get this guy I will be trying him out he does have that higher pace which is very important also higher dribbling and defending so as a CDM he might just have the slight advantage we are going to see thank you 
you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.